All right, so just got the results of another CP2000 response that we did, and we're gonna go over that here. The issue that we address in this uh, CP2000, the proposed amount due notice from the IRS, is a 1099 NEC that went unreported, that's self-employment income that the taxpayer did not put on the return. And essentially what we did is we said, yeah, we missed the 1099 income, but we also missed some expenses that were associated with that. We filled out a Schedule C, the associated forms, wrote a little statement, sent that off, got back uh, some good news. And I'll go through all the paperwork that we got and uh, sent out. So let's take a look. All right, so this is the original uh, CP2000 the taxpayer got. You'll see, when did we get this? March of 23. And, you know, $14,000, big penalties here. And what happened, right? Yeah, he didn't put W-2s on there. We didn't really, um, I guess disagree with that. So we left that unchanged. But what we did disagree with was essentially, right, non-employee compensation. Um, we have one, two, three, four, five of these 1099s for a total of $40,000. This is what we went against, right? And we said we had expenses to go against that. Um, didn't go against this little amount of, I believe this was... Oh, retirement, duh, that's what it says right there. And then there's a little royalty income here. Didn't dispute either of those, okay? And this is what we did. Here's our the response. I wrote a little letter to the IRS uh, for the taxpayer here. We, you know, we include all this information. Obviously, don't have their information here, but you can kind of copy this for your statement if, if this is what you're looking to do. Do this yourself here, okay? And we're going to say we disagree, right? We don't agree to all the changes on the proposed amount, right? Um, and specifically, right, like the 1099 non-employment, that 41000 But we also included expenses that he had against the 41000 right? And we say, you know, take a look at the Schedule C that we attached here. And then essentially it says, you know, based on the difference here, the 17,000, please uh, give us the tax, send us the tax on that, okay? Um, taxpayer then signs here. And then here we go. We attach the Schedule C, right? The 41,000, all the various expenses um, that we got, including, right, the home office. We did the home office as well, right? There's that 17,000. So we just attached all this there. Um, self Schedule SE, uh, self employment tax, obviously on self employment income. So there's a little there. Plus, we wanted the QBI, Qualified Business Income Deduction, right? This is a newer one uh, starting, what, 2018, I believe. Um, so we get this one as well. So I'm like, hey, don't forget our deduction here as well. So we sent all that through. And then what did we get back? All right, voila, this is what we got. Um, let's see here. The original one came out in what March. We responded. And then look, we got a response in July, March. April, May, June, July. What four four months later we got the response? It went from that original amount of the fourteen thousand, almost fifteen thousand dollars, to thirty five hundred bucks. So they made the changes, um, and you'll see also they removed this substantial tax understatement. There's a massive penalty right there, right? They removed that. So we were stoked, right? This is exactly what we we were looking for. Some tax because he still had some income there, but uh, definitely not the full amount that was reported, right? That like $15,000 almost here. So we had about, what, $11,000 savings? Man, hope the video was helpful for you. If it was, hit that like, share, subscribe uh, button for me. Help my, vi uh, my channel out here. And if you want me to take a look at a CP2000 notice that you received, I do free 15-minute consults. Use the link in the description below to schedule a consultation for you. Just uh, lets you know kind of, you know, A, what you can do, and B, if there's something I can do for you, and then what I would charge to do it for you. All right, well, again, hope the video was helpful. Thank you so much, guys.